Ladies and gentlemen, cut the ribbon. The Supercomputer Resource Center, or SRC, at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base unveiled its newest supercomputer, named Lightning after the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. So how fast is it? In each one of these compute racks has 4,600 compute cores in it. That's equivalent to like 2,300 desktop PCs in one rack. With the addition of Lightning, the SRC is now home to two of the 30 fastest computers in the world. Last year, they introduced Spirit, a 9,000 square foot computer with more than 73,000 processor cores. So these are the jobs that are running on the system. But despite its size and speed, Spirit has reached its capacity. Generally, if we run anywhere from 80 to 100 percent capacity, we're doing pretty good. It's been running in the 90s consistently for a year, and you know we've had a lot of backlog of people just waiting to run. That backlog is now a job for Lightning. With 57,200 processor cores, Lightning almost doubles the processing power of the SRC. But what makes it unique is its 32 graphics processing nodes. A human is not very good at sorting through numbers, ones and zeros and that type of thing. So a lot of times what we have to do is actually turn those into images, turning them into graphs or actually flow fields over a wing so that you can visually look at it. The supercomputer's combination of size and speed lets DOD customers around the world to run tens of thousands of simulations and calculations at the same time at a fraction of the cost of actual physical testing. When you think about long-range strike capabilities, to do that, you have to run at hypersonic speeds. And if you think about how difficult it is just to get a vehicle to travel at hypersonic speeds, but also carry a warhead, that's just a huge technological challenge today that these computers are tackling. Even with two of the fastest computers in the world, the SRC still has plenty of room and is adding another supercomputer next year. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, I'm Matthew Klaus.